Hi, this is Eric the Pirate Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the door latch on your Whirlpool dishwasher. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool Corporation dishwasher brands, including KitchenAid, Maytag, Jenner, Amana, and more. If you need to purchase a new door latch for your Whirlpool dishwasher, you can check our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The dishwasher's door latch secures the dishwasher's door during the cycle, ensuring that it remains tightly sealed to prevent water from leaking. If the door latch fails, the door may not close properly. This may result in the door not opening or closing properly, or water leaking from the dishwasher during operation. Additionally, the dishwasher may not start or operate as the safety mechanism prevents the cycle from initiating when the door is not securely latched. Using a T15 Torx bit, remove these 10 screws from around the perimeter of the door holding the front panel in place. Then, while supporting the panel, close the door without engaging the latch. Gently tilt the panel forward and disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Then, lift the front panel up and away from the arm hinges. The door latch is held in place by two retaining tabs. Using a flat-headed screwdriver, depress the locking tabs while gently pulling forward on the latch, being careful as it is still connected by an electrical connector. Then, depress the locking tab on the electrical connector and disconnect the latch. If you need to purchase a new door latch, you can check our website, PartsDoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. To install, start by connecting the electrical connector to the new latch. Align the door latch to the inner door panel so that the locking tabs align with the retaining slots and press into place. Now align the hangers on the panel to the arm hinges on the door and gently slide the panel into place. Then, reconnect the electrical connector. Now, align the screw holes on the panel to the screw holes on the door, being sure that the locking mechanism seats beneath the panel. Start by installing the two top corner screws, bearing in mind that the four larger screws belong on the top row. Then, while supporting the panel, we install the remaining screws. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.